Do you want to learn how to manage your nerves and energy levels during tennis matches? Hey, I'm Mirban Aranshad, host of Tennis Summit 2021, the world's largest online tennis conference in the world. And today I have an awesome preview of the summit session from coach Jorge Capistani on just that. It's just how to manage your nerves in matches and how to balance your energy levels so that you can play your best tennis, especially under pressure. And if you want to watch the full length video of this lesson, as well as over 45 others from amazing coaches and experts, including Rick Macy, Nick Boliteri, Paul Anacone, Dr. Mark Kovacs, Ian Westerman, Will Hamilton, and many, many others, then just click the link below in the description or go to tennisfilesummit.com. All right, with that, here is the preview of Coach Jorge Capistani's summit session about managing your nerves and energy levels. Enjoy. Hey everybody, welcome to this awesome session with my friend Jorge Capistani. It's really an honor and a pleasure to have Jorge back on the summit once again. He's done so much for the tennis community and has just coached thousands upon thousands of, of tennis players, you know, in person and online on how to improve their games. Uh, Jorge has an amazing resume. He has actually been the National Pro of the Year with the PTR and the USPTA, which I don't think anyone has ever done that before. Uh, it's incredible. And then also he uh, is a Master Pro with both organizations, which I think there's only 11 of those uh, worldwide. So very, very highly uh, distinctive uh, career here. And uh, he's also been a six-time Michigan Pro of the Year as well. Um, so, Jorge, thanks so much for coming on uh, to talk about uh, how to deal with, with nerves and, uh, you know, maximize yeah. your energy levels. Really appreciate it. Well, hey, no problem, buddy. I'm really excited to be with you here. And I really um, – I'm excited to actually talk about this topic. When you and I were talking about what I would speak on, you know, we were met, I was co showing you kind of the – the mental toughness course that I kind of revamped recently. And there's a whole segment in there that deals with pre-match nerves. Uh, and as a coach of, you know, close to closing in on 40 years of coaching now, I know that a bunch of my players, a really big percentage are stricken with this pretty badly where they really, really get <clears throat> nervous before the match. They, they almost feel sick. Uh, and over those nearly 40 years, I've tried to coach and I've used probably, I don't even know, 50 different, techniques and stories and methods and what i boiled it down is to 10 things that have worked at least for me and my students the best so um, that's what we're going to cover De overcoming pre-match nerves uh, or, or, yeah if you want i can get started uh i prepared a let me just get my screen right um sure. i'm going to show you let me now just make this big and I should, okay, so you should be able to see my screen now, and it should be a blue background overcoming pre-match nerves. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So that's the title, and I'm just going to start going through this thing because a lot of the data is right in here. So um, let me first just kind of show you quickly what we're going to cover. We're going to talk about the real definition of mental toughness, the three types of thinkers, um, how to develop positive mantras, I'm going to uh, perspective number four there, empathy. And then on the other side, we're going to talk about this thing, catastrophic thinking, uh, repurposing competition, the four pillars of tennis. We'll have a recap and takeaway. And then at the end, important to me is I'm going to give you like six action steps, things that you can actually go do. Because at the end of the day, I want people watching this to actually say, hey, I have something I can actually, something practical I can try to do and not just a bunch of theory. Okay. So with that said, we'll start with number one, the real definition of mental toughness. So I've noticed that a lot of my people who struggle with mental toughness or, or nervousness in particular, uh, they have a really bad, incorrect definition of what mentally, what mental toughness really is. So let me tell you what it's not. It's not the ability to play great in an important match. So you can see right here, important, right? So what, what, what do I even mean by that? I'm not talking your typical everyday match. 
something that people perceive to be important. Maybe if you're a league player, it's the, the playoffs or it's the state championships, or maybe you made it to the sectionals or even nationals. If you're a high school player, maybe it's, you know, high school tryouts or the state tournament or the regionals to get to state tournament. There's always matches. If you play whatever, 50 to 100 matches a year, there's always some that players are going to view and they're going to interpret this as an important match. So I'm talking about that. And if your idea, or if your definition of mental toxins is on those important matches, I played great. I'm going to suggest to you that's a bad definition. That's actually almost too high of a bar. Okay. Instead, I'll tell you what I think it, it is. Uh, it's the ability to play normal in those supposed important matches. So it's Jorge, and let's just say for sake of argument, I'm a 4.5 player, and I'm about to go to the regionals, and this is what sends my my 4 or 5 team to state. Okay, if, I, if, if we win here. So in my head, it's quite important. If all that extra pressure of that situation exists, and I can go in there and I can play at my normal 4.5 level, that, by definition, is being mentally tough. It means that the extra importance didn't make you play worse. Okay, So I always start with that because I think way too many of my personal students have gotten this wrong. They kind of think, well, no, if it's important, that's when I should play great. And that's just, you know, if that's your bar, you're going to be setting yourself up for a lot of heartache. So that's an important one. And that's the very first little lesson in this, in this thing. So next thing is number two. <clears throat> now, I found that when you play tennis, your place can reside, or your, there's three places that your mind can reside, your, your thinking, your thoughts, okay? And what are they? Well, you're, you could be thinking of the past. Some players think a lot about the future, and some players are kind of more thinking about the present, okay? Now, what we know is that each one of these kind of makes other things happen. So if you're a past thinker, you're thinking of the past shot, the past error, the past winner, the past game, those people tend to be angry. Okay, you can almost hear them. People who are thinking of the future too much, they tend to be nervous. And people who are in the present, they tend to be focused. So obviously, you know, that's the one you want. You want to try to be in the present. The problem is, okay, sounds good, Coach Jorge, but how the heck do I do that? So I'm going to show you what's what's been working for my people. So I'll give you some examples. All right, I really, really hope you enjoyed this preview video from Tennis Summit 2021. And if you did, and if you want to watch all 45 plus on-court lessons, presentations, masterclasses, and live Q&As with the world's best coaches and pros, then just go to the link down in the description below, click it and register to get your free ticket to Tennis Summit 2021. And I will see you at the summit.